Orange County. Well, if you've been out to the water lately, you can't miss these stand-up paddle boarders. I'm here with Steve Zaney, owner of Infinity Surf Shop, and he's going to tell us what these paddle boards are all about. Well, you know, it just started about four or five years ago, and um, it started in Hawaii. The guys uh, standing up paddling, I think when the surf was small, and you still wanted to have a workout and get in the ocean, but you didn't have any waves to ride, then they started doing that. So you just did it for the very first time. I did. It was and, actually uh, not too I, difficult. I, and what people enjoy about it so much down here is you can get a stand-up board and you're master of your own ship. You can come out and paddle around the harbor, go behind the docks, go behind the boats and zigzag up all the little channels. It wasn't too hard, was it? Now we have a great event coming up uh, this Saturday, October 11th, and uh, tell us a little bit about what that's going to be. This is just a pure race. Uh, we make special boards for that. Uh, they're real pointed and they're real narrow and they go through the water really fast. It'll be held over here in Capistrano Beach. And they have a whole lot of different events, their age brackets and the length of the board. Well, Orange County, if you want to learn more, come down to Doheny State Beach on Saturday. I'm going to turn it over to Surf Junkie Jeff, who's going to tell you more about what's happening in the surf world. Thanks, Alon. Well, if you're a surfer, a shaper, or you've ever thought about making your own custom surfboard, then you won't want to miss the Sacred Craft Consumer Surfboard Expo. Tons of shapers will be on hand, along with several surfboard manufacturers, to unveil their latest products. It all happens this Saturday, October 11th, and Sunday, October 12th, at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. For more info, check out sacredcraftexpo.com. Now watching the waves for this weekend, well, we'll have plenty of playful waves out there on Saturday. Surfline forecasters are calling for a mix of mostly northwest wind swell and some possible minor south-southeast energy. Most OC breaks can expect waist to chest high waves with the focal points pulling some shoulder high sets on Sunday. Surfline says we should see a pickup out there. If you're going to get wet, a thin full suit will do the job with the water temp hanging in between 62 and 64 degrees. For more surf happenings, check out ocregister.com slash beaches. For Daybreak OC, I'm Surf Junkie Jeff.